back here in Hawaii starting today. Some COVID restrictions will be eased. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the Waikiki Shell with more on what you need to know. Dallas? Good morning, Christine. Yes, we've been talking about this throughout the entire morning about the outdoor seated entertainment guideline that goes into effect here on Oahu. And this means that all concert venues and sporting arenas must operate at 50% capacity or up to 1,000 people. This also means that all attendees must be vaccinated, no testing exemptions, and they must be wearing a mask and social distancing from each other. There's also going to be no food or beverages sold at any of the events moving forward except water. So here at Waikiki Shell, even though it's outdoors, and Governor Ige says that you don't have to wear a mask outdoors, in this case, you have to wear a mask and no foods. No one's going to be working this stand with any events moving forward. Now, we have been hearing from Rick Bartolini throughout Wake Up Today about the challenges that this new guideline brings. Go ahead and take a listen to his view. Hard enough as it is to get performers like Mariah Carey or Joe Coy or Diana Ross or Hall and Oates to get here. Hawaii and Alaska are the lowest on the totem pole for touring because you can't get the equipment there. They can't pull up with 30 semi trucks and unload. So that's already a challenge. What's going to happen? If we don't open up in full capacity, those agents and artists are just going to write us off. Again, already last on the totem pole, and if we can't do the shows and we cancel them and, and postpone them and postpone them and postpone them, it's going to make it way more difficult to come back. Again, that was Rick Bartolini with Rick Bartolini Presents, really just describing the challenges that this new guideline brings moving forward and especially what our future looks like. And to give you all kind of a live look on how this could look like in the future, Waikiki Shell has a big open space outdoors. Of course, there's enough room to socially distance, but something like this would operate at 50% capacity, less than 1,000 people. And again, no food or beverages sold. So however long the show is going to be, you definitely want to make Make sure that you have ate a good dinner or breakfast before you go to your next show. But uh, something else that we've been following as well are the different sporting events, one of them being UH football at Ching Stadium. Even those games are going to be a little bit different without the food and beverages and those jobs available and the experience itself. So if there is any updates or changes to large gatherings, gatherings in, in general, we'll keep you posted in our future newscasts and also online at KHON2.com. But of course, come next week, there's more guidelines that are going to go into effect that could bring us some ease, but of course, some challenges and adjustments that come with that. You can brush up on what we know so far about the changes happening in October. Reporting from here at Waikiki Shell, Dallas Navarro's KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. All right, thank you, Dallas.